This video is very special to me because of two things. This is the 100th video on the Whiskey Malt Content Reviews YouTube channel. And uh, we also passed the 400 subscribers, which I'm very, very appreciate for. Thank you very much for your support, guys. Thank you very much for your subscriptions, for your time spending on watching these videos. Much, much appreciated. Thank you very much. Today I have something special on my cask. This is whiskey from uh, Talisker Destillery from Isle of Skye. And this is actually the Talisker Wilder Seas whiskey created in cooperation with Parley. And this whiskey is also the first official whiskey from Talisker Destillery which has been matured in ex cognac casks. Sounds quite interesting. Hello and welcome back. My name is Vlad and in today's video we're going to be talking about Talisker. Whiskey from Isle of Skye. This is uh, one of two destilleries on Isle of Skye. Very well known among the whiskey lovers. And this edition is quite special to be honest. It's limited edition. This whiskey has been created uh, in cooperation with the Parley. Parley is a kind of uh, environment organization who looking after the environment, the sea, the oceans. They try to keep this uh, clean and you know. And because of the distillery marketing, yeah, where we've got that very famous sentence made by the sea, this marketing perfectly fit to that uh, organization uh, and uh, they decided to cooperate together to create some kind of whiskey which gonna show the Talisker connections with the sea and oceans and this is second cooperation if I'm right because the first one was where the Talisker Destillery released the 44 years old whiskey and that was also the cooperation with the Parley and uh, in this case the point of this cooperation is to donate some money to Parley to protect and looking after the sea and oceans. So Diageo, as the owner of Talisker Destillery, they decided to uh, pay them or give them three pounds of every single salt bottle. And actually, if I'm right, they was talking about something over half million pound to donate from the Diageo to the Parley. So this is quite big money. And uh, of course, if we're talking about the environment, in this case, the bottle has been made from recycling glass, of course. Uh, we've got little paper label on the front and little paper label on the back, which is actually the recycling paper. And the same with that neck tuck, uh, which also has been made from the recycling paper. So they try to show they can make the whiskey. In that way, they can protect environment as much as they can, which is okay, which is fine. We all like that kind of ideas. And in this case, we have a whiskey which has been matured in ex bourbon casks and this whiskey has been finished in ex cognac casks extra old xo cognac casks so this is first actually this is, yeah this is the first whiskey which has been matured in cognac casks bottled by talisker Destillery, which is quite interesting it's of course uh, no age stated whiskey so we don't know exactly how long this whiskey has been matured but what we know about this whiskey is the strength 
which is not typical for the Talisker, which normally is 45.8%. Uh, In this case, we have 48.6% of ABV. Uh, but we don't have any information about chill filtration or caramel adding, so I have no idea about these two details. But okay, let's go and try this whiskey. Yeah, so we have no stated whiskey, over 48% finish in the cognac casks, extra old cognac casks. The nose is quite perfumey, I would say. So we have that slightly malty sweetness, followed by a touch of smokiness, salted caramel. There is a loads of saltiness in this whiskey, to be honest. And then we have that nice dark chocolate with the orange peel orange chocolate uh, or uh, orange jelly cake I would say and that is followed by some raisins some dates maybe <sighs> coffee notes dark chocolate coffee some some nutty aromas as well some cinnamon some pepperiness little spiciness on the back of the of the aroma quite nice aroma to be honest let's go for the taste initially the first sip is quite nice we have this lovely malty sweetness on the front and then there is that salty caramelly sea breeze aspects of talisker whiskey talisker distillery we have kind of caramelly notes as well and as long we keeping this whiskey in the mouth there there is kind of uh, citrusy aspects coming up it's like a overripe orange i would say and uh, the taste is quite nice to be honest the whiskey is constructed it's quite mouth coating it's quite oily quite dense which is which is nice it's almost 50 percent of abv let's go for another one on the second sip there is a kind of a over brute english breakfast tea i would say and that kind of uh, dark chocolate taste as well and when swallow of course this is talisker so the first thing when we swallow this whiskey is that chili kick i would say is getting quite spicy the smokiness is more pronounced when we swallow and then this lovely fruitiness of dried fruits of orange peel it's coming up a little a bit and then all that turns to the more dry aspects where I would say is something like uh, cocoa powder, fresh brew coffee, uh, some walnuts I would say, green, unripe walnuts and then when we're going to the finish we got some more dry fruits, more dark chocolate, cocoa powder, the coffee notes, but this bitterness is it's going somewhere and there is that touch of of sweetness on the on the end on the finish with this earthy sweet smokiness as well. So this whiskey is constructed very very well to be honest. And I would say this is quite young whiskey as well. It's not very old whiskey. In my opinion, it's between 7 and 10 years old. Maybe there are some older components in, but it tastes quite young. But 
that's not a problem for me because you know smoked or pitted whiskey tastes much better when it's younger i mean you know that smokiness is more pronounced when the whiskey is younger and that smokiness can cover all that youngness of the whiskey and in this case there is a strong influence of that cognac casks and because it's loads of dark chocolate coffee walnut things I would say this cognac was very, very old, so they've got very good casks from Euro European oak where they keeping the cognac very, very long time. So that's very, very nice indeed. And this is very nice talisker. This is something different to the whiskies which we already have from, this letter, from the talisker. Something new. Something unusual, very, very nice. Thing is, the price of this whiskey is not that nice, I would say, because the, I think the normal price, this whiskey, you can find this on probably every duty-free shops all around the world, I think so, because I've seen this whiskey in Poland, I've seen this whiskey in Spain, I've seen this whiskey in England, uh, on the airport shops, duty free, travel retail shops. Uh, and the cost of this whiskey is around 75 pounds. But it's not only one place where you can buy this whiskey from. Uh, there is some online retailer all around the world as well. But in UK, they selling whiskey sometimes in nice prices sometimes very ridiculously low prices and that was the one of them where i got this bottle for 45 pound uh, and in my opinion perfect price for that kind of whiskey for that kind of experience because i was very curious how the talisker character you know that saltiness brininess that sea sea aspects will combine with smokiness as well how that combined with with cognac casks i was very very curious and i have decided to grab this bottle so guys let me know in the comments down below if you have tried this whiskey uh, let me know what you think about this whiskey what's your opinion about this bottle thank you very much for watching this video guys thank you very much for your subscriptions for your comments and likes and just remember one important thing, take care about yourselves, about your families, drink your whiskeys, enjoy your life and see you soon. Bye.